Welcome back to another Find Yourself Friday with me, Sylvester McNutt III. Today, we are going to go over a very important topic. How to stay focused. <laughs> Step number one to staying focused. You have to create an end goal and several goals before the end goal. Because if we're talking about the idea of staying focused, what exactly are we trying to focus on? So we have to determine what we are focusing on by setting a big major goal and then several goals in between that. So you want a real world example? I'll give you one. I'm 300 pounds. I want to lose 100 pounds. That's my big goal right there. So something that makes sense along the way is after three months, I want to be at 15 pounds. Lost. After six months, you, you get where I'm about to go with this, right? So you can make the small goals literally a smaller version of the bigger goal. Or if the goals at hand are not as tangible as I want to lose 100 pounds. I want to lose 50 pounds. If it's not as tangible as that, then you make those goals behavior-based goals. For example, I want to get better grades in my English class. So in order to achieve the better grades, you have to make smaller goals of I'm going to go to study tables every Thursday or I'm going to study with my partner every Tuesday. I'm going to make sure I meet with the teacher before the class every Wednesday. Instead of procrastinating with the homework, maybe I'll turn it in a day early and get feedback from the teacher beforehand, right? So you make these little smaller baby goals and what happens is this helps you stay focused on creating, manifesting, and executing on the bigger goals. If you've done this, comment below so other people can see that this is a great step. If you have not done this, do it, do it. Comment below and tell me that you're going to commit to this because this will change everything. Now let's move on to step number two. Step number two towards staying focused is abolishing distractions. You have to get off the cell phone. You have to stop talking to people who are clouding your mind. You have to get off those video games. You can't play Call of Duty for four or five hours when you need to be studying, when you need to be in the gym, when you need to be focusing on your brand. Play the game for 30 minutes and then get off. I'm not going to tell you to not have any fun. I'm not going to tell you to not watch your Netflix. I know you're going to. But you don't need to be binge watching for eight hours. Get you one episode in and then get back to the grind. Have your fun, but abolish the distractions. You can't be out all night every night partying. If you're trying to build business, you're trying to build your body, you're trying to build yourself up, you're trying to get done with school, you can't be out four or five nights a week partying. Go out your one night, come back home, re-energize yourself, and get back focused. You have to make this commitment to getting rid of the distractions. And some of your friends are very distracting. You might have to cut off friendships to keep yourself focused. Step number three towards staying focused. Create a deadline before the deadline. All of you have done this. Your teacher gives you an assignment and you wait until the night before the assignment is due to cram in everything for the assignment and you walk away with 86% and you're happy. But what would have happened if you had a deadline for yourself before the deadline? What if you would have put that work in ahead of time? You could have got a 98%. And that same analogy applies for every little aspect of our life. Doing laundry, saving money, creating a budget, manifesting more money, manifesting better health. It's the same principle. Instead of waiting to the last day, the last minute to put the work in because you think you work well under pressure, trick yourself and give yourself a deadline before the real deadline. You get the work in before everybody else. And guess what's going to happen? Doing this is going to allow you to do more work, more work, more work, and more work. You're going to defeat everybody. All enemies will be defeated. All teammates will be defeated. All goals will be defeated. So you have to ask yourself, is success a choice or is it not? Because if you do not choose to give yourself deadlines before the deadlines, then you don't really want it. 
You don't. Now, with that being said, Find Yourself Friday has concluded for today, but it has not concluded forever because you missed last week's video. Click the link below and watch that. And if this is the first time you're seeing this video, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button and come on back. Get in the comments below and let me know what you think. What tips are you going to use? What strategies are you going to take from this video? I need to know where you are in your life. Do you have goals and are you reaching for them or are you just playing around?